Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier, and I am officially back. Yes! Yes! Yeah! Back in more ways than one, I am back in LA, my voice is back in commission, I am back from Christmas vacation, and... My hair is back to its normal color! And I know what you're all thinking. I hear it being screamed into the comment section below right alongside all those spam bots. Why? 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 Why, oh god fucking why is your hair not red? And I know that's a perfectly logical and and, 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 oops, and reasonable uh, question to ask, but yes, my hair is back to its original color. And no, it didn't all grow out, it has actually been dyed back to my original color. It's a pretty good job. Uh, you can still see a little bit of red through there, but I am very happy to be back in my natural hair color. And to answer the question why, uh, so when I dyed it back in September of 2015, last, last year I can say now, uh, I did it for the charity stream. And because we raised a certain amount of money, I dyed my hair bright pink because that's what I promised. Uh, and I kept it. I, I kept it because I thought it looked good. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't care what anybody said. I looked fucking great. I looked amazing with it. And I really liked it and I kept it for another, uh, a few other personal reasons. And I, I thought it was really good, but I'd never intended it to be a permanent fixture. I didn't even intend for it to be there for like a year. Uh, it was really interesting because in the past year, I've been to a couple of my friends' weddings, and now, forever, when I look back at those wedding photos, I'm gonna see me in bright red hair. So, that's a thing that's gonna be there for eternity and forever. But I'd always intended to go back to my original hair color, because number one, and anyone who has colored hair knows this, it's a fucking nightmare to maintain. You would not believe the shit you have to do just to keep your hair a bright, vibrant fucking red. Like, my god, it's obscene! You have to go, like, every month to get it touched up. And then for, like, a few days after that, your hair just bleeds out red everywhere, stains absolutely everything in your house, and in my house, I'm an idiot enough that I have white towels! What kind? I haven't even bought red towels in the entire year that I've had red hair! I have not bought red towels! What kind of idiot am I? I'm an adult! Ah, fuck! Anyway, so, there's a number of other reasons why uh, I wanted to go back, but I'm very happy to be back uh, to my original color, and eventually it'll all grow out, and then just be all natural and not dyed black. So, those are the reasons to quell those thoughts. Yes, I know. It's jarring and I'm wearing glasses again. What's up with that? It, it's it's a new year and I've got a lot of things that I'm committed to. Uh, but I'll get to that in a second. We've got more important things. Yay! 16 million! Woo! Okay, all right, that's enough celebrating. That was exactly the amount of celebrating quota to do. So I have an idea. It's my sweet 16. And I don't know how creepy that sounds, but um... Yeah, so th that's that's the theme. Okay, that's the theme of this. So basically, we're at 16 million subscribers. And I found a little test. It's called the mental age test. And uh, what it does is you answer a few questions, and it determines what your mental age is. So I'm a 27-year-old man, adult man, and uh, I have a little wager to put against this. Because people seem to think that I'm an immature man, baby. People have called me as such on the internet, but I'm- Ow. I am an immature adult, and I know exactly what I'm doing in my life. So, here's the wager. If, 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 if I take this test and it says that my mental age is 16 or lower, I will allow Tyler and Ethan to subject me with whatever punishment they deem worthy and I will accept it no matter what it is. They are- I'm writing a blank check to them to torture me in whatever way they see fit. It could be mental torture, it could be physical torture, it could be the tennis ball launcher to the balls, which is an option on the table, because I'm confident that I am a mature- I don't know why I'm laughing. I- I am a mature adult with mature thoughts in my head! If it's 16 or lower, 
they're gonna torture me. If it's 17 and up, I'm good. If it's 27 on the dot, I'll get one billion subscribers! Okay, so this is the mental age test, and it's pretty simple. There's 20 statements, the answers are multiple choice, your first answer is your final answer, statements are selected at random, millions of people have taken this test, so the stakes are pretty high, and the average age is actually 23. So I got a pretty good chance of walking out of here with my testicles intact! <laughs> Okay, the best thing on TV is... Oh boy, there's never anything good on TV. I hope that means I'm an old man! You've forgotten where to put your keys. Oh no. Literally always. Oh, twice already today. Oh no. I'm old! I'm old and forgetful! I'm an old man! You read Apple have launched a new iPhone, you think... Ah, fuck, I got this one as soon as it came out. I'm an asshole. Birthdays are bullshit! I don't want any presents, I don't want anything to happen on my birthday. If- if I can do anything, I'm gonna spend my birthday on someone else. Something to ignore, thank you, because I'm an old man that has had too many birthdays. You find an old shirt in a wardrobe. You can't believe you ever wore that and throw it out, keep on decorating, considering giving a charity, put it on, wonder how it ever managed to fit in it. Ward- yeah. Uh, wardrobe? I don't know what you're talking about. You get passed on the motorway by a Ferrari. You think, but the driver is a wanker. Actually, what I think is they'll not get there any quicker, which I'm pretty sure is an old man thought. You finish your meal in a restaurant. You do 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 do. Make sure you go to the toilet before you leave. Order coffees. Empty the tray in the bin. Ask whether a tip is included. Wonder which pub to go to. I'm I'm a I'm a cleanly studious patron of a restaurant, and I always make sure my tray is clean. Twitter is. <sighs> Twitter is essential. For me, for me, I can't answer that not essential. McDonald's is... Oh no. Oh god no, people are gonna judge me. <laughs> I eat more McDonald's than I should. Every time I go there, which is more often than it should, I feel awful, but I go. Okay for a quick snack, I guess. You're planning a house party, you think about telling your neighbors, well this is- I don't plan parties, so this is not me. Think about telling your neighbors, find out where the cheapest vodka is, make a list of people you aren't going to invite. <laughs> plan on which games to play. Yeah, I'm just gonna think about all the people that I'm not gonna invite because I- I don't know where the not do this option is. Ugh. Alright, you see someone fall over in the street, do you- Run over to make sure they're okay. Yeah, that's probably me. The best way to become rich is to work hard. Baseball caps look better for words. Dire straits were- oh boy. Ah, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not good with music. I'm not musically inclined. Uh, who? I don't know who that is. Politically, you are, uh, liberal. You think a pension plan is not what you thought it would be important, something worth considering, something for later. Uh, it's important. Invest early, kids. <laughs> this is an old man thing to say. It's hot. You want an ice cream, you buy a magnum? You, 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 you buy a, you buy a magnum? Um, um, this? Is this what you buy? On a hot summer day? An ice lolly. I'm beginning to think that this might be a British test. I'm guessing this is like a fruit popsicle type thing, so I'll, I'll go with that one. Your prime minister president looks... He, he looks all right. Old. Miley Cyrus is like so over, a bit racy, quite good looking, everything that's wrong with kids today, a victim. These are none of the choices that I want to answer. Uh, like so over? I haven't heard anything about Miley Cyrus in a while. Then again, I don't look. The iPad is cool? And that's it! And my- oh god, no! What?! Seven?! That can't be right! I am a mature adult! I am a mature adult! Oh god! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> uh, maybe there's like a two hidden here? Is there like some sort of two? So that punishment 
It's gonna have to be in another video because Ethan is not home yet, but I'm gonna call him. Oh boy. Hey, are you busy right now? Uh, I'm at... You're upside down. You're upside uh, down. Yeah, what's up? Okay, so I'm recording a video, and I was recording a video to celebrate 16 million. So I have this bet. There's the mental age test, which is like, you answer questions and it determines your age. So I said, I said, if, if it said my mental age was 16 and under, I would let you and Tyler pick whatever punishment you want on me. And uh, I said if it was 17 or over, I'd be totally fine. Um, it said I was, I had a mental age of seven. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> we get to decide the punishment. Yeah, so when you get here tomorrow, yeah. decide what to do and then go easy <laughs> on me. <laughs> I got a middle age of seven. I don't know how. I thought I was answering old people answers. You're horrible. <laughs> well, how am I horrible? I can't help you, that. You were, you were 20 years off, Mark. <laughs> I know. I think it was bugged. I think it hid the two. I, I'm not sure. Congrats on 16 million. Thank you. I think. Bye. Bye. Maybe I could try it again. Maybe, maybe I could try it again. Not really much that could- Yep. Okay. All right. Well, seven's what it is, unless that's a joke. I don't know. So anyway, that is that, and we will do that, and that is cool that that is happening. But at, at the bottom line is thank you everybody so much for 16 million subscribers. That's an astonishing number of people. I'm just grateful every day that I get to make videos for you guys. And I can't wait to get through this year. Uh, just some of the, I'll go over really quickly, some of the uh, New Year's resolutions that I got for the entirety of this year are to work out every day for an hour. And then to practice guitar for an hour every day. And then uh, also to learn German or practice learning German for an hour every day. And that's three hours of my life dedicated to improving myself and uh, getting myself back on schedule. And so far it's been good. It's been really good, but we'll see how it goes once I'm in LA and we're making videos full time again. So either way, thank you everybody so much for being here with me and thank you so much for watching for so long. And thank you again for watching this video and look forward to the punishment very, very soon. So thanks again. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!